Hi everyone, it's proper autumn here in New Zealand now. There's a little bit of a chill in the air. The sun's about to set over there, so I've just come down for a couple of hours to see if I can find any fossils. And I've just found something cool. Have a look down here. It's in frame now, see if you can see it. I hope it is what I think it is. Yeah, yeah, that definitely looks like it could be. This reminds me so much of my first fossil I ever found in New Zealand. I think it's a, a vertebra of some cetacean. A fossil one, it looks fossilized. But it's in great shape. It's right over there. I haven't picked it up yet. Let's see what it is. Oh, that's a beautiful one. It's so heavy. It's very well mineralized. Look at that. Concave on the one side and convex on the other. I'm really, really happy with this one. This is one of my nicest vertebrae I've found so far. That's beautiful. It doesn't even need any prep. It's been prepped by Mother Nature. What a really great fossil. It's a really nice trace fossil over there. Very well defined. It's some kind of burrow, I think. When I saw one of these for the first time, I thought it was a piece of bird bone. Because I heard bird bone was hollow. But yeah, that's some kind of trace. This concretion is absolutely packed full of shells. Some bivalves, I think. So many in there. Just throughout it. There's a crab claw sticking out there, so I think, oh yeah, <laughs> that's the top of the carapace there of, uh, forget the name, oh, the pie crust crab, this is a pie crust crab, a tiny one, they can get a lot bigger. Another small crab, highly pyrotized, you can see all the iron staining there, that's one of the claws some of the legs sticking out there. Should be an easy one to prep. It looks like there's a bit of separation between the matrix and the fossil. I've just been looking around this area over here where a lot of the sand's been washed away. I managed to find two crabs. <laughs> they weren't found this close together, I just brought them back here. But there's, there's one over there. You can see there's a bit of the carapace sticking out. Just zoom in a bit. Yeah, it's definitely a crab inside there, a crab or a lobster. And then found this one as well. This one's really easy to spot. You can see there's four legs sticking out that side. And there's four more on that side, so this will definitely be a crab. And it looks like it's got some pyrotized areas, so it might be another one of those golden looking ones. They can be tricky to prep. There's a really nice thin bit of rock on the top, so it might be tricky to prep, but it should be pretty quick to get down to the crab carapace at least. I'm on my way home now. It's a lot darker than it looks on camera, so I can't really see any fossils. Go get some dinner. I might have left it a little bit too late to start walking back. It's so dark and I have to walk over all these boulders still. 
I don't even know if they're going to show up, but they're just boulders. Wind. <laughs> Made it really complicated for myself.